this will be officially my second year of fully celebrating Beltane, or Bieltana. I was pretty excited about it, and since I can't really share with you exactly what I'm doing on the day of and upload a video the same day, I decided to just share with you some of the things that I did in preparation, which mostly was just enjoying the beautiful flowers that have been blooming everywhere. I also went through all of my houseplants and propagated all the ones that were getting a little bushy or a little leggy. I did this at the very beginning of the month, so by the end of the month I was able to repot them. I also planted a few seeds of different vegetables that I had. I've been getting much better at taking actual days off for myself and not just working on the channel and <laughs> work. Sewing isn't a strong suit of mine, I wouldn't say, but it is something that I do enjoy. I made myself this skirt, and I did end up making myself another skirt and a top that you'll see later in this video, but it's really meditated for me. I'll leave the link down below that I used for a template and for the base of this particular skirt that I'm making now. As I finish the straps for the skirt, I'm gonna be honest, I was really nervous. A lot of the time when I finish sewing projects, there's something that I should have done better, that I messed up, something doesn't fit right, and the whole project is usually ruined or just not wearable. But this one, I have to say, I actually really impressed myself and then I wore it for like a week because I was so excited that I actually did it correctly. So like I said, I was really getting back into my sewing hobby. And of course, I had to make some sun tea. There's a lot of reasons that I like sun tea, and apparently it's not as common as I thought. Some of you have never heard of sun tea, and it's part of my childhood. My mom used to make it all the time. I used a caffeine-free peppermint tea, and then a butterfly pea jasmine tea. It's a really cool flower. The butterfly pea actually makes the water turn blue, and then if you add anything that's acidic like lemon or lime, the tea will turn purple. So once you've put your tea into a preferably clear container, just set it outside for a few hours and let it brew. I would say maybe four hours. This brewing process will bring different flavors and different notes of the tea out, so different teas will taste better than others. And of course you can make it witchy, using corresponding herbs in your tea, charging it with the energy of the sun, and your overall intention. Next, it was time to redecorate my altar. Lastly, I made one of my probably new favorite things, and it is pepper-infused bourbon. I am so excited. <laughs> There's plenty of different recipes that you can find online, so if you are of age to drink, then a simple Google search will find you one that will work best for you. I saved my favorite activity for last and I walked the labyrinth. Labyrinths are used in meditation and prayer. They symbolize our spiritual journey. 
There's only one way in and one way out. I walk it barefoot because I like to ground. Whether you're celebrating or not, I hope that you're able to embrace the change that the seasons bring us. The veil is thin now, so now is a good time to do divination. I'll be doing a little bit of baking, but thanks so much for watching, and as always, best of luck, be kind to each other, and may your gods treat you as you've treated others. Bye.